Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kim of Journaling with Kim. And today I'm just doing a flip through of my scripture writing for the month of May. For the month of May and in observance of Mental Health Awareness Month, I was happy to go ahead and use the uh, scripture writing plan from Jesus Journal Junkies. Her scripture writing plan for that month to me was unique because along with the verses, it did give you some very thought provoking journaling prompts to accompany these scriptures. Day one scripture was taken from Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30. Come unto me all he that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart. And he shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And the prompt that accompanied that scripture was, how can you lay down your heavy burden on Jesus? And the scriptures and the prompts went on like that throughout the month. For the five Joshua 1 verses 9, she had us writing three Bible verses that make us feel strong and courageous. And I loved doing my writing prompts in my uh, notebooks in my journal like this because it does allow me to use up all my printables that I have in my stash. So I was able to st shop my stash while completing this writing scripture for me. Now each year, millions of Americans face the reality of living with some form of mental illness. And during the month of May, the National Alliance on Mental Health Illness joins the national movement to bring awareness to this disease, this particular health issue. These are scriptures that I know I will go back to time and time again especially to look back at the reflection questions and my responses. These scriptures definitely served as a reminder to me and hopefully to others that as much as I think that I'm alone, I am never truly alone because my Heavenly Father is always with me. Or Heavenly Father is always with me. First Peter 5 verse 7 Cast in all your care upon him, for he careth for you. And the prompt for that one was, imagine handing over all your anxiety over to Jesus. How would that feel? I don't know if you're like me, but there are times when I pray and I see that I'm handing it all over to God. But then a part of me still holds on to something, a tiny part of it. Can you imagine that feeling that you would receive if you turn it, everything completely over to him? I also did get to practice a bit of my penmanship and using my set of fountain pens for the first time. Day 21 was 2 Corinthians 4, 16 to 18. And she asked us to list seven reasons not to give up. What would be your seven reasons not to give up, not to quit, but to keep walking with God and to keep fighting that good fight? I have fallen in love with this symbol, meaning God is greater than my ups and downs, and it was nice to have it as a reminder in my scripture writing journal. Isaiah 41 verse 10 says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee, yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. And we were asked to tell our anxieties just how great our God is. And even though this specific scripture writing plan was released during the month of May, this plan I would recommend to be done at any time. 
by anyone. I will leave her Instagram handle in the description box below. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And go ahead and hit the notification bell for a reminder whenever I upload my videos. Until next time, keep journaling.